Well, Kevin McCarthy was pressed on Face the Nation about his support for George Santos, who is a serial liar, who is completely unqualified um, based on his dishonesty to be in Congress. But Kevin McCarthy has not called for him to resign. And the Face the Nation host here did a great job of pressing him on this. And watch, this is stunning, the level of I don't know, slipperiness, the level, level of dishonesty that you'll see from Kevin McCarthy in this situation. But doesn't it further wear down credibility when you put someone who's under state, local, federal, and international investigation as a representative of Are your you party on committees? I'm talking about George no, Santos, I, uh, representative from well, New York. We should have that discussion. So let's have that discussion. You want to bring up S Santos, and let's talk about the institution itself, because I agree wholeheartedly that Congress is broken. And I think, you're, I think your listeners or viewers should understand what proxy voting was, because it never took place in Congress But I'm asking before. you about George Santos. I know you asked me a question. Let me because ask you. Because you could put it to a vote. You to asked me a question. Ask. I'd appreciate if you let me answer. So, Watch this. This is... This is too much. I mean, every single day I talk about politicians and there's a lot of dishonest politicians and interviews are upsetting because they'll just kind of say their talking point without actually addressing the question at hand. But this is another level. She goes, why won't you uh, condemn or push for the resignation or uh, have Congress try to oust him? And his answer is, listen, uh, our system's broken and people proxy vote. People proxy, why are we talking about proxy voting right now? Let's go through this because it's not one simple answer. Congress is broken based upon what has transpired in the last Congress. The American public wasn't able to come in to see us. People voted by proxy, meaning you didn't have to show up for work. Mm -hmm. Bills didn't go have to go through committee. So what I'm trying to do is open the people's house back for the people so their voice is there, so people are held accountable. So now, as I just had in the last week, for the first time yeah. in seven years, every member got to vote. If now, you got a third of your caucus to vote no, to fact, oust him, you could do so. Do you, do you don't think you could get your Republicans to do that? I wasn't finished answering the question. So, mm -hmm. if every single new person brought into Congress was elected by their constituents, what their constituents have done has lend their voice to the American public. So those members can all serve on committee. Now, what I'm trying to do is change some of these committees as well. Like the Intel Committee is different than so any other committee. So you're just not going to answer the question I asked. Well, no, I, no, you don't get to question whether I answer it. You asked a question. I'm trying to get I don't you through. Think you oh, wait, wait, wait. We'll watch more of this in a second. But he said, you don't get to question whether I question it. What? <laughs> what does that mean? Um, it's funny. In politics and on television, things can happen that would never, ever be socially acceptable outside of those scenarios, right? So an interview is a setting where things happen that would be so strange and just kind of a, oh, I'm at a event, you know, an event talking to a friend. Imagine if at an event like that, you're just talking to a buddy of yours and they ask, hey, how are your kids? And you go, listen, it has been cold recently. It has been so cold recently. How, you wouldn't have any friends, but I guess they can get away with it here. The question I'm trying to get. I don't you think you've that. said the name George Santos like once. <laughs> well, no, but times. you know what? I You're just, talking about proxy but, voting. But, no, no, no. And other things. But you, no, you started the question with Congress was broken, and I agreed with no, you. But I was answering the question mm -hmm. of how Congress is broken and how we're changing it. So if I can okay. finish the question that you asked me, how Congress is broken, I equated every yep. single member they just got elected by their by their mm -hmm. constituents, they have a right to serve. So that okay. means that Santos can serve on a committee the same okay. way Swalwell, who had a relationship with a Chinese spy, but Speaker. they will not serve on intel. They're wrapping because me I in the control it's room because Well, that's unfortunate. I wish I so at the very end, after all of her follow-ups, he tries to loosely connect it back to George Santos, all the <clears throat> rambles he'd gone through. But the fact that that has to be his answer instead of just, listen, I do not stand for the dishonesty that George Santos stands for. And I do not think he should be in Congress. And using, if nothing else, the voice that Kevin McCarthy has as Speaker of the House, as well as the power to make that clear. Um, but instead, he's 
covering for. He's assisting in the scam that George Santos has uh, facilitated on the people of his district. And so it is so wild and it represents the character of the modern Republican Party better than much else.